In this video, we'll be working with GraphQL union types. We'll discover what they are and how we can write them using the schema definition language, and also how we can query them using graphical. Here we have a Fastify and GraphQL Helix server running. We have some type definitions that return some tracks, videos, and images. These have enums and various fields. We are resolving these queries and fields as mock data inside of the resolvers file. And if we open graphical, we can see all of the different fields that are returned to us. If we make a query, we can fetch tracks and we can fetch the duration and format and we can do the same for videos and images. But let's imagine we want to return some kind of feed with all of the tracks, videos, and images that a user may possess. This is where we can use GraphQL union types. Inside of our type definitions, we'll be using the schema definition language to create a GraphQL union type. Let's first add to the query feed and return the feed items. Using the special keyword union, we can write union feed item, and this will be built up of track, video, or image. Now, if we go back to graphical, we can see in the query documentation that we have the possible types for our feed item. Now let's update the resolvers to return an array of the tracks, videos, and images for our feed. Let's move each of the objects that we are returning already into their own variables. Then we can spread the values of tracks, videos, and images into the array response for feed. And for the purposes of this video, let's add a, an additional object to the feed array. We'll give it a width, height, and format. And this will, of course, be an image. We'll next need to define the feed item resolver type. Inside of the root of our resolvers, let's declare feed item. And inside of here, using double underscore resolve type, this will return the type name. We can determine the type name based off the fields inside of the object. So if the object has a field duration, we know that this is a track, so we can return track. We'll do the same for video and image, and we can check if the object has a length, we'll then know it's a video, and if the object has a width, we know this is an image. And if nothing else matches, we'll just return null. Now inside of graphical, we can make a query using inline fragments. Here we can spread on the track and fetch the fields. We'll fetch duration and format for tracks and we'll return that query. We can see in the response we have our feed items and we have the type name return for all of them. We can also spread on the different types of video and image, the fields associated. However, we'll run into an issue with format. This is used throughout multiple types. So if we run the query, this will not work. We'll need to prefix each of the format fields and give them an alias. You may be wondering where else we can use GraphQL union types. Another popular use case for GraphQL union types is with marketing landing pages. Pages can be typically built up using blocks. So if we run a query here, we can fetch all of the blocks on all of our pages. You can see we have various types returned to us. And on each of these types, we can return the fields that we need to build that landing page. So on the logo cloud, we'll fetch the title, and for the grid, we'll also fetch the title for that. And we can fetch anything else such as the headline or subtitle. And for the other types, we can return the associated fields and relations. Don't forget, because we are fetching title in multiple places within the two different types, we'll need to prefix these accordingly so this works. 